Hi, I'm Lisa Slaminski. I'm a co-founder of Art at All, and I'm going to walk you through the exhibition Absence Presence by Thompson Hall and Simone Kennedy. The idea of Absence Presence explores the ideas of identity in political and personal ways. Specifically, Simone and Thompson bonded over the idea of having absent fathers growing up and the idea of the relationship between the home and the person and feeling included and excluded. So these are works by Thompson and they are titled Suits of Absence. And then these two sculptures are titled Cerebral Memories. So these are the ideas that both Thompson and Simone worked off the idea of a men's suit playing into their ideas of what it means to have an absence father. So you can see with Thompson, he has chosen an African fabric to relate to his Ghanaian history while also doing some painting onto the work, including words like trauma, despair, absent, and void. This is another work by Thompson and it's called Anonymous Figures. And it is a series of figures painted in black onto various materials, including plastics and fabrics. And then the idea for Thompson with this installation is he wanted them to look like they were sort of looming into a crowd so that the audience can sort of see different versions of them and that they looked like they were in motion. Continuing this idea of the suits, these are two works by Simone Kennedy, each entitled Brain One and Brain Two. Similar to the way that Thompson played with Ghanaian fabrics, Simone went with plaids playing on her own heritage and her notions of the absent father, where her figures are actually patterns of flies, which is a very important metaphor in her work. And then she has brains, sculptures, in each one, making each one a figure and other found objects to play into this idea of the body. Again, linking together the idea of suits that Thompson and Simone worked with together. You can notice here on Simone's brain too, the incorporation of a men's lapel that also references the lapel in Thompson's work. An important part of the peer-to-peer -peer collaboration between Simone and Thompson was them working on sketches and ideas uh, to sort of bring to the forefront some of their ideas. So we're exhibiting some of the sketches by both the artists. So this is a series of paintings by Simone. Again, playing with the fly metaphor, we have three larva paintings, the pupa and the fly. And again, incorporating the lines of plaid fabric. Here we have a series of sketches by Thompson, and this is actually very similar to the way he has worked prior to this collaboration, which is more two-dimensional than three-dimensional. And this was, this shows some of his ideas through the process. So we see, for example, the design for brain sculptures playing on their brain sculptures, motherhood, single parent, and masculinity, again, playing on these ideas of absence fathers, uh, here you see a connection between the suit of the men's suit and the more Ghanaian robe, this idea of homelessness, and uh, the idea for a tent. This sculpture by Simone is entitled Heart Attack, and as you can see, it's suspended, made of a metal frame, a wool pocket, and then the wrapping with alpaca wool, and then there is a small tape measure suspended. Here are another three works by Simone. We have Heartbroken, The Escape Ologist, and Lucky, which is a rabbit's foot. So these are all independent works, but it's important that they're in conversation together. They're made of a lot of found objects and involve a lot of wrapping. So Heartbroken includes a small locket and some cufflings. The Escape Ologist, you can see that Simone has wrapped with silver thread over and over again. And then you can see some very important beading around uh, Lucky. At the core of this collaboration and the exhibition is this work titled The Sanctuary. This was a completely collaborative work made between Simone and Thompson working together at the Action Space Studio. As they were discussing ideas of identity in the home, they decided it'd be important to make 
a place for this idea of homelessness. So this is a sanctuary about the idea of providing a space for those that are experiencing homelessness. So it's in the shape of a tent, and then both artists have painted various symbols and abstracted forms throughout. So it includes some of the fly metaphors we've discussed from Simone, like a larvae and pupa, and it also includes some of the running figures by Thompson. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gilbert, one of the co-founders of Art et al, and you're here in one of the rooms at the Royal Society of Sculptors in London. I want to tell you about the two artists that are in this space. This is Leslie Thompson and Eleni Maragaki, and this room within the exhibition is called Fantastic Animals, Jungles and Mountains from Africa, Greece and Beyond. So we're going to walk you through the space for anyone that can't make it here in person. So I thought we'd start with uh, this piece that you can see here, and this is actually a puzzle that you can play with when you're in the space. The artists worked together on a series of linos, and they each did one individually, and they did two together. And this was something that Eleni showed Leslie how to do, because she uses a lot of um, lino cutting within her own practice. So these puzzles, you can stand them up and move them around, you can lie them down, and each side of them has a full image. So when you play with them, you can try and match up the lines and see the different animals and landscapes that have been used. One of the linos by Eleni by herself is on the wall to the side of me. She actually titled hers. It's called The Landscape Seen From Everywhere. And then the other ones are on the other side of the room, so I'll show you those in a moment. So in this exhibition, you'll see that uh, Leslie is an artist based out of Adventure Arts in Manchester, which is a supported studio. And Eleni is based in London, but she's originally from Greece. So he's been learning a lot about her culture and the animals that you see there. And then Eleni has been learning about the spontaneity in Leslie's work. Because the other three linos are just behind me here. Um, again, two are collaborative pieces. One is just purely Leslie's own one. And you'll see a lot of colours, blue, red and purple in these rooms. And they're the favourite colours of Eleni and Leslie. Just to the side here, we'll see um, an African animals drawing from Leslie. And if you get in close, you'll see all these animals that he's drawn from memory that are all from Africa. And he often signs his work. Um, Leslie Thompson, artist, drawer, superstar from Venture Arts. That's the name that he's given to himself. Along the side here, we've got a series of ceramic animals. Leslie really loves turning his drawings into uh, ceramics, so that you really see the lines, the same as what he does with all the fur and everything in his pictures. He draws them into the clay, and the way that he applies the colour is that he paints it all on and then really scrapes a lot of it off. So it's only left in the indents of the clay, so you really still see the textures in his work. So we've got a brown bear, uh, a purple goat, and this is a Greek goat, a Greek tortoise, a Greek cat with very ferocious looking teeth, uh, a little bear, and this bear is made from uh, different bits of clay that were kind of excess clay. And adventure arts, they put them all into the bag so they all get a bit muddled up. And so its colour is actually just the natural colour of the clay after it's been fired. Then these two final pieces are actually by Eleni. Leslie taught her how he makes his animals and she made an African tree and a puma herself through watching Leslie work and Leslie talking through his process. On this wall are a series of drawings. The top three are all by Leslie and they feature the Greek animals that he then turned into the ceramics. The Cree Cree goat, we have the tortoise that he said is a slow mammal up, who is walking from a pet shop um, and is going to be kept in a garden. And then the final one is a Greek cat with lots of other cats from Europe and abroad in the background. This long scroll piece at the bottom, Eleni did the landscape on it because she often features landscapes of different shapes and forms in her work and then she sent it to Leslie in the post and Leslie's drawn this kind of parade of animals travelling across the landscape. It's a very varied drawing uh, with lots of Leslie's animals travelling through Eleni's landscape. On this wall, this very large drawing is just by Eleni. She um, thinks this is a little bit messy. We all think it is very uh, detailed and not messy in the slightest, but this is just one of her studies. So whenever she works 
on the sculpture she's working on or anything that she's planning. She tends to work in this method and she draws on the paper from different sides. So some of the text on here will be upside down when you're looking at it. But this was her study for a flag book that you'll see in a minute. And because Leslie was telling Eleni a lot about the landscapes that he likes, especially in Africa and the jungles and things like that, Eleni went off and did her own research. And so you'll see lots of examples of different trees in Africa that she was looking at, again, using this red and blue that they're really both quite passionate about. But this is kind of her working out exactly how the flag book might come together and the different sorts of things she can feature. Uh, within it. Behind me here is a piece called Meteorite. Again, um, Eleni did the meteorite in the centre, which is quite reminiscent of some of the sculptures that she makes with these angular forms on them. And she used red and blue, and in the middle they're kind of mixing to make this purple. And then Leslie has drawn, again, his animals parading around the outside of the meteorite. And he's even drawn his own meteorite on the top right of the drawing, echoing what Eleni has done in the piece. This piece is called Cobaltite. Cobaltite. This is Elaine's kind of first venture after the puma into clay. So one of the staff members from Venture Arts that Leslie goes to showed her how to roll out slabs. And then she's done a design for this separately and then made the slabs, worked out the exact angles to join it all together. And this is her really beautiful piece. This is the fractured landscape. Eleni really likes working with paper and folding it and pushing it to extremes. So this is her piece, again, using red and blue and bringing in the different landscapes through the discussions with Leslie. On either side of the mantelpiece are the spring flower fold books. Now, Leslie came on a trip down to London to see Eleni in her studio. And on that trip, uh, she wanted to show him how she made her folded books. So this is an example of one of the books. Fully folds down flat, um, but she showed him how you cut the paper out, how you glue it together, make the folds using a bone folder. And then you can display them in lots of different ways. They can be hung. And then Leslie has adorned these, uh, obviously with his drawings of animals. This one is a lot denser. Um, this is purely the one that Leslie made. Eleni made the other book as she was showing Leslie how to do it. And then Leslie was the one that decorated it with his drawing afterwards. Final piece in this particular side of the exhibition. This is Eleni's flag book. This is what has come from her large drawing that we just saw on the wall. And again, this can be displayed in a myriad of different ways. This piece is called 99 Landscapes and it has 99 different versions of African landscapes. And then she's drawn just on the one side of it and then they're each facing different ways. And we thought it looked really beautiful displayed uh, in the round. We look forward to you coming to see this exhibition in this space and the two very different exhibitions, the delicateness in here, the kind of big, powerful uh, colours and marks that you see in the other one. This is a free exhibition. It's on until the 24th of November and we hope you've enjoyed our walkthrough and learnt a little bit more about the artists and their practice.